Hello everyone, Chuck's here, just going, um, updating the software on my CR10, I was having problems with it, found this place called solids, uh, printedsolid.com, there's a web address at the top, I'll try and put that down into the notes of the uh, video, I ended up having to buy a double ribbon cabled um, display because a single ribbon you can get it going I did read some notes that you can get it going but I haven't worked that out yet so I took the old one out and put this in and put all the wiring in now once you've got the S in there the CR10S all you have to do is plug in the cable that came with it into your computer you'll hear it initialize if I can get this the right way I've got it upside down that would be me, wouldn't it? Hard to do with one hand. And yes, I really do need a gimbal. Um, so that's hooked up there. And you'll see that the light comes on there. There's no power coming in from the back at the moment. Now, what I was going to do is I have uh, updated software in Marlin from the solids. Solid, um, from solid pr print. I'm going to put the 17 on there. First thing I have to do though, is I need to get the, you have to download and it gives you instructions on the solid, uh, print solid site. Sorry about the way I'm talking, I've, um, I actually put a piece of wood through my uh, lip and it cut right through until the other side and I've got about 18 stitches at the moment. So yeah, that's why I haven't been updating, uploading lately. I've had a little bit of uh, real bad mishap with my lip. I don't want to show anyone it. It'll make you feel sick. It makes me feel sick. Anyway, you get the loader. Open the loader up. Um, you'll need to find your port that's set at. You need to set the board rate, as it says there, to 115-200. And you definitely need to set your... If you're using an S, you'll need to set it to this board, which is the mega board. And if you're using the old type of CR10, you'll need to set that to a Uno, because it has a different um, board. Then you go up here. Um, at the moment, I've set it up for this, which is the six, version 16. Now I'm going to go to 17, because I now know that it's working properly. Um, I'm setting it for the uh, E3D, because I've got an E3D on mine. Now, if you look here, you've got the E3D, you've got a stock for the stock um, hot end that comes with the CR10, 10 models, and then you've got the factory CR10. So you've got a fact, you can put it back to factory settings if you want to. Uh, and that's the one I'm going to use. And when you're uploading, you, all you get is uploading. You don't have any bar, no nothing. It'll tell you at the end that it's finished, and that's good. Now, the other thing I've been working on is I've been working on 18, and I've got one little problem with 18, and it's to do with the advanced pause feature, and it's given me an error. The problem is, if I can get past that, I can use... Um, the uh, Marlin 1.1.8 uh, version, which would be a lot uh, better. But there is some features there that I have been reading about that not many people know about yet, and I might give it a miss for the moment. But if you are using 18 and you follow the instructions, to check it, you just press the tick button, download the latest version of um, Arduino um, IDE, and that'll give you where the faults are down the bottom. And then if that comes out good, you can just press the arrow key to make it uh, load to the system. And the only things you have to adjust on this is you have to adjust the configuration H, the configuration advance H, and over here, there is a button which you press and you come down and you have to come down to pin rams.h, you have to adjust that, one line in that, and then you up, 
upload it and that should work. Anyway, that's how I'm doing it so far. I'm having an error with the 1.1.8 at the moment. Probably a good thing because I'm using the X loader to load it and it should be almost finished. We'll have a quick look. Uh, yeah, see, so now you know that it's uploaded, it's finished because it's telling you how many bytes it's pushed up there. Now, all I do now is I just disconnect that and if I turn that on like that, you can see the Marlin 1.1.7 software and now I'm ready to go. And I've updated my, my um, system already and so once I've finished putting the four screws on the side back in and the bottom on, I'll take it down and I'll put it into the new enclosure. I've still got to get a piece of glass for the front door for my new enclosure, but other than that, it works fantastically. So if you're into the CR10, CR10S, I'll try and link some valued um, deals from Gearbest down below because I'm an affiliate. And also, please leave me some comments. I really, really would like to hear from other people what they're doing with their printers, how they've modified their printers, um, other ways of doing things, because I'm not always right, and I, I admit that. So, yeah, please um, like this video, to, video if you can, and please subscribe. And sorry about my voice. As I said, I had a little mishap with a piece of wood and it, threw, it fl threw itself up into my lip. I was lucky I didn't lose a nose or an eye or something like that. If you're working with wood, wear a face mask, that's all I can say. And I, I admit it nowadays, you should wear a face mask. All right, thank you, and um, hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, I'll catch you next time, bye.